Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be bringing you a post review of this kit from Crafties. The official name is Jellyfish Ride Summer Flat 2017. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called online. So, um, I've just been calling it the Jellyfish from Crafties. Hold on, let me see if I can get this to frame up better so you can, there you go. That's what it's called online. So before we get started, I do want to mention that I am a Craft Ease affiliate, but that does not change any of the opinions that I have on any of their products or their canvases. Um, my opinions are always my own. So uh, before we get into it, um, I did want to mention that if you're interested in picking up a kit or a kit like this from Craft Ease, I do have a discount code, which I believe is Abigail20. Let me just double check. Yes, it is Abigail20. It's all capital A-B-I-G-A-I-L. 20 um, and that will save you 20% off of your craft ease purchases so um, now that that is out of the way uh, this is a 40 by 50 I think I got through this in about a week I'm not sure I couldn't I can't be 100% on that um, this is simultaneously a color blocking dream and a mess of confetti in the fish area so one of the things I mentioned when I did unbox this kit and I will leave that link to, uh, in the description is I wish they would have gone a tiny bit bigger because the fish uh, at the start I couldn't see them as well it didn't render as well without the, the diamonds and the crystals however I am impressed so it looks so good from far away specifically if you're looking at this clownfish and um, the fish down here, they look so good in the camera lens and they look really good from far. Of course, when you do get close up, it does get a little, um, little more difficult to read, but I mean, I'm impressed. For the sizing, it does look pretty good, okay? And also, this kit does come with crystals. It came with a total of two crystals. Uh, a yellow, vibrant yellow crystal and a blue crystal as well. I will go ahead and Oops, I dropped something. I will go ahead and go through the colors and what was left. So I did not come close to running out of anything. As a matter of fact, I had two whole bags of 939 left over. So, and as well as that. So tons of colors left over, including the crystals. Still some crystals. I did my best to try to keep these in order, but they're already out of order now. So... Um, as far as the trash goes, I was, uh, I was a little, I mean, it, it's, it's not the worst amount of trash in the world. It just, the bits that I did get were like, come on, like, that's, the, the quality control for me was a little off in one of my packs of 939, but it was only one, so it's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and dump my trash really quickly so you can have a look at it. What I'm referring to when I say the quality control, I'm talking about those stringy bits. There were tons of them. Let me pull them out. So there's three long stringy bits. I need a pair of tweezers. Where are some tweezers? I have 100 pairs of tweezers, but could I find one right now? Probably not. Uh, okay, here's a pair. A funky pair, but a pair nonetheless. So here is another stringy bit. So that's three. And this one was just like, I thought it was a hair at first. And then that one was a little stringy. This one. And this drill has the string attached. So as you can see, that bit was a little excessive. The rest of it's not that bad though. Like, that's not bad for uh, 40 by 50, in my opinion. Um, just these stringy bits were not so cute to me. Um, but other than that, this kit was so much fun to work on. I really, really enjoyed, especially specifically the, hold on, I'm trying to pick up my trash. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter anymore. I've saved it, I've showed you, that's all. Um, especially specifically in the uh, middle area of the painting, which happens to be perfectly uh, framed in my camera. This area right here was so fun to work on. Um, I ended up doing, this is a total of 25 colors. 
Um, and of course this uh, 939 is basically like a third of the painting, maybe, maybe more. Um, but this area was so fun and I thought it was going to be too much confetti for me because I've really been on a color blocking uh, bandwagon. I hopped on and I haven't uh, haven't been able to get myself off of that bandwagon. But um, this, this area was a lot of fun to work on. I really enjoyed specifically the choices and crystals. I do wish that they would have included maybe, maybe a pink one so that some of the jellyfish's um, tentacles or whatever they're called if it's a jellyfish. You know, I don't even like jellyfish. I've said it like four times. I don't really like jellyfish, but damn it, I will buy every damn jellyfish painting they, they sell. Every one of them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I'm not really looking for help in the matter, but I'm just, just throwing it out there. I will buy every single stupid jellyfish painting that, that anyone tries to sell me. Um, I do wish that they would have, like I said, had one of the pink, uh, one of the crystals in pink so that the tentacles could have been highlighted. However, I do understand that if they had chosen to do that, it would not have been um, flattering to have the rest of them not crystal. Um, that was the only thing of note for me. Um, I really enjoyed how the jellyfish rendered. It looks fantastic. Let me, let me get a close up on this thumbnail for you. That is what the image <laughs> there we go. That is what the image was supposed to look like and sometimes you get a diamond painting and it renders pretty well and sometimes you get a diamond painting that you're worried about and this, I'll be honest, I mentioned it in the video, I was definitely worried about these fish but I, I love, I love the way this turned out. Uh, so uh, I will go ahead and insert the outside clip here. I did forget to mention something about the drills that I really, really enjoyed. I will zoom in now. Um, so these are very, very faceted drills. So I'm going to get you as close as possible. You can see the difference between a round bubble drill and these drills because it reflects light so, so amazingly. And you will see that right now in the outside clip. Here we are outside with this beautiful, stunning jellyfish. It's absolutely incredible. The facets are amazing. Pay special attention to the area where the crystals are. This is a beautiful, beautiful finished piece. Okay, so as far as changes I made to this canvas, I did not change anything. Um, I kept everything the way that it was charted. Um, I trusted the process. This was my first craft ease, so I definitely wanted to let them have a uh, fair shot without me changing things. I feel pretty comfortable changing Diamond Art Club paintings now just because I've been doing them for so long and I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty used to the quality and uh, the rendering and stuff, so I definitely wanted to give them crafty is their moment to shine um, so that's why I tend to my first kit I don't tend to do much changing um, unless it's absolutely necessary uh, but this one I just left it as is and it was absolutely stunning I am so impressed with this one I'm just rolling it it's been on my wall for uh, a month maybe I'm just rolling it out because I forgot to do it before and as I was kind of like running my hand over it, I felt a few drills that could have been pushed in a little better. Um, but in this canvas's defense, as far as that goes, I did travel with this one. And if you're not familiar with traveling with a diamond painting, it can get a little rough, <laughs> um, especially when it's this size and I didn't want to bring a tube. I just kind of stuck it in a little sack and there was a moment where I had bunched up I had it rolled up and it kind of like bent a little bit so the gems had bunched up so I had to go back and fix them but the canvas turned out really good and this I did not have any wrinkles or crinkles the back looks absolutely amazing especially considering I'm one of those people who left it hang off the table so I was really impressed with that um, if I could change anything about a craftiest canvas it would probably be, I would like for them, I believe in the most recent run, they have uh, changed the canvases to the scalloped edges. Let me just, let me just double check that and make sure I'm not making stuff up real quick. 
um, because that was something that I had wished, but I seem uh, glow diamond painting. So they came out with some new glow diamond paintings and you know your girl is all over that, especially since they got a damn jellyfish. That's right, a damn jellyfish. So I'm gonna take a look at the canvas that they have on there. Oh no, I'm wrong. They haven't uh, changed the uh, scalloped edging. That's okay. Um, it's one thing that I wish they would uh, look into. I know it's probably not as uh, cost effective to make canvases with the scalloped and serge edging, but that is my preference um, just because these damn lines irritate me. So, um, but that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, most people cut this off and will frame it or something like that, so it is what it is with that one. Um, other than that, uh, that is it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up if you like me or would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. Alright, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands, taking care of yourselves. Bye guys.